students. This is another video where I will review a band piece and we will get to play through it. Obviously today I'm playing the clarinet and the piece I've chosen to review today is a piece my band's playing this year called Byzantine Dances. Uh, this piece is by Carol Britton Chambers and I chose it because it has a couple different tempo changes. It sounds definitely, uh, it just kind of a fun band piece and I actually just heard the 2023 Ulsa Jersey band perform this so I'm very excited for my band to perform this this upcoming week and hopefully for future concerts. So in this video I'm going to run through clarinet 2. I'll teach you how to play all the parts and then I'll play through clarinet 2 page 1 and clarinet 2 page 2 and then I'll do the same thing for clarinet 1. So we're going to start today at the beginning of clarinet 2 and just looking at both of the pieces both of the pages um, for both parts, we see a number of flats, okay? And the first flat I'm going to be going over is the lower A flat. So we're starting in uh, clarinet two with G, A flat, G, A flat, G. And then we play a bunch of C's, a repeated pattern. One, and, four, one, and, four. Okay, and when we get to nine, we hold out the C, to the E, to the F. F is just thumb. F. E, uh, C, E, 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 C, 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 C. Okay, and then we're going to go on at 13. E, uh, C, to E, to F, F, and then we have a trill at 16. That's indicated by the TR and the little wavy line. So typically a trill on G would go up to A, G to A, but since the trill has a little flat side next to it, we're gonna go G to A flat, just like we did in the beginning. G, A flat, G, A flat. Now we're going just back and forth, okay? So I'm gonna play from the beginning through 16. When I do these practice sections, I'm playing at 100 beats per minute, and then when I run through the piece, I'll play it at 130. Beginning, one, two, G. If you're not, just keep going back and playing through. At 17, you're going to hear most of the band continue on with boom, 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 that ostinato rhythm, but you don't come in until 18, and that's beat one, you wait. So you're waiting five whole beats, and you're coming to come in C, E, E, F, F, E, again, measure 20, rest, C, E, 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 F, G, G, F, a flat, A flat, E, E, F, E, E, C, 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 F, C. And then we go back to these A flats. G, G, A flat, G, G, A flat, G, 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 G. Okay, my pitch probably got off there. I have been teaching all day, so, but... For the most part, we have a number of A-flats, measure 22 especially, because there's two A-flats in a row, even though only the first one's marked. I call that pencil tip number five, accidentals in the same measure. So you'll play F, A-flat, and since the next A is in the measure, that means that A will also be flat. Okay, so we're gonna take it from 17 down to 31. I will count the five beats of rest. Here's 17, one, two, ready, and rest. Two, three, four. <laughs> the tempo is going to slow down and it's going to go down to 80. We're not going to take this any slower. We're going to play it at 80. Um, at the bottom of the page we have B flat, B flat, B flat, 
B flat, B flat. We have five B flats in a row. We're just using the front and back keys. And then we go up to the C. This is the only time we cross over the break. For those of you who do not know C, it's like low F. I use this pinky down here, but with the register key. So low F is this. Register key. And you hold that out for four beats. So this is the bottom of the page. Let me switch our tempo. All right, my metronome's being a little sticky today. 80. Oh, that doesn't help me. There we go. 41. Ready, two, three. a clarinet player really struggles on that high C, I would just tell them to play low C, but maybe your band director needs you to play that high note, so work on getting it, work on that low F, and then just adding that register key. All right, on the top of page three, we are continuing at this tempo, even though it says a little bit faster, we're going to continue at 80, F, F, C, 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 and then we have three E flats. We haven't encountered E flat yet, but it's I use the D with the side key over here. This is the fourth one down here, just the side of your finger. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, and then uh, let's get the G. Bum G A flat G G A flat G G G A flat A flat G. Okay, and then the tempo will change right at 57, which is an exciting tempo change. Let's play that section, top of the page. FFC, one, two. there so the click didn't exactly work out and then at 50 well 57 we're back to the original tempo which I'm not taking as fast even when I run through the piece and I'll do the hand claps and then we'll go down to 72 so here are the hand claps um, let's switch it back to 100 there we go 60 one two ready and two and four and four and so on okay so if you're wondering how they go it's just two and and four 72 it looks very similar to five so I'm not really going to review those notes I'm just going to jump ahead to 82 82 is a G a flat G G and then at 84 G G a flat G G a flat do a flat G a flat G a flat G and then we just do a bunch of G's to the end so we're gonna take it 72 to the end at 100 beats per minute and then we'll run through it at a faster tempo two ready <laughs> So, we had um, we got through the piece. Now we're going to play through page one and page two. For the purpose of just working with the metronome, I'm going to play from the beginning of page one down to 31. And then when I play page two, I'm going to add in the bottom of page one, just so you're not, just so I can keep that tempo steady. Okay, so we're going to switch to 130. Let's get my metronome. There we go. From the top, page one, clarinet two. Two, one, two, ready.
One, two, three, four. Okay, great. And now we're going to go on to page, bottom of page one, into page two. We're switching it back to 80. B flat. One, two, page two. All right, now we're at the top. One, two, three, four, F, start. Now we're back to 130, and we're going to skip the hand claps. All right, we're going to go 72 to the end. One, two, ready. Great job if you were able to play along. All right, at this point I'm gonna transition over to clarinet one. Okay, hopefully you'll wish me luck. If you enjoy playing clarinet two, you can always play along with all of these parts. Clarinet one players, if you jump forward from the beginning of the video, welcome. Um, this piece does a lot over the break, so for those of you experienced clarinet players, this is definitely a good piece for you. We're gonna be starting this piece with uh, this is the B over the break. I call it two pinky B. We use the left pinky, the left pinky over here, and the right pinky. Okay, we put both of those down, and then we lift the left pinky to go to the C, and then the D, D, D. And then we start at five with the grace notes. Now, grace notes in my band, I tell them they are optional, okay? What I'm talking about is the note at the beginning of six. It's a tiny, tiny A flat. For those of you who don't know A flat, it's just this side key next to the A key. It's a side one. And a grace note, actually, if it's right before beat one, it has to be played before one. So beat, uh, measure six without the grace note is one and two and three. You have to play that grace note right before one. But one and two and three. That's all I'm going to play. We're going to take the beginning at 100. We're going to play it through. All right, so we have A flat G, F, F, E, E. Same thing on measure 8. And then when we get to measure 10, A flat, B flat, back to A flat. This is a very common mistake. You have to do two A flats in that measure, then G, F. So it's A flat, B flat, A flat, G, F. And then we do C, G, 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 ba da 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 12 is exactly the same as 6 and 8. It's just uh, the eighth notes are connected a little bit different. And then we go on at 13. F, F, E, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, G, F. So that same A flat twice in the measure. And for 16, you're going to be on a high G, which looks like the low C. And you're just going to move this tiny pinky up and down. Now, for your left pinky, you have four different options. This is the closest one to that ring finger, okay? So it will sound like this. Okay, and the trill for middle school can be as fast or slow as you can do it, as long as you're going back and forth. Okay, so we're going to take it from the beginning at 100 beats per minute. This is the practice tempo, and then when I run through it at the end, I'll do it at 130. High B natural, two pinkies. One, two, ready.
ready. Okay, good. That was all we went over. Now we're looking at 17. This is where we're really having a good time over the break, okay? So we're starting on C. I just call it right pinky C. This is all over the break. C, G, 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 A flat grace note, G, F, F, E, E. So these are the same notes we were playing down low. We're just playing them up the octave. Obviously a lot of different fingerings. C, G, 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 A flat grace note again to G, F, F, E, E. And then 21, F, F, E, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, G, F. All right, so we do A flat, B flat, which is like the E flat down low, back to A flat, G, F. And then 23 and 24 are the same as 17 and 18. 25. F, F, E, F, G, A flat, G, C, 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 E, 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 E. Now, just like in the last video, I think I got off pitch a little bit, but it was rhythmically accurate. Now I'm going to play it at 100, well, 100 speed at 17. Starting with that C, listen. That's the note. 1, 2, 17. In those high notes. Great job as a middle schooler, okay? So we're going to move on. At 37, the tempo slows down. We're going to go down to 80, exactly like it says in the part. Okay, once my metronome works. Why is it not one like me? Ah, there it goes. All right, and we're starting on D again, or the high C. And then to get that D flat, we're going to add this outer left pinky, okay? So when you're playing the C, if it goes up a little higher, you know you hit the right one, okay? I do left, right pinky, add the left pinky, and then high F, 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 G, G, F, F, and then down to C. And then when we get to the next page, because we're going to play all this at once, F, F, E flat, we already kind of went over that a little earlier, E flat, two E flats in a row at 49, F, F at 50, 51, G, 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 A flat, G, a flat, and then there's a rest of a measure, 53, you do not play, and then it's B natural, B natural, C, D, D, okay? So B natural, both pinkies like the beginning, C, just right pinky, and then D, and that's the way I play. You could play a different pinky. We're going to start 41 and play all of that. 41, 1, 2, ready. Here's 48, ready, and rest, two. right on that tempo change. All right, 62, which nice is very, very similar to 17. So I'm gonna play through it, but I'm not gonna review it. I'm just gonna go over 70, which is G, A flat, A flat, G, G. Everything else should be the same. 72, C to G, G, F, F, E, E, C to G, G, E, F, G, A flat, F, G, A flat, F, C. C, G, G, F, F, E, and then 81, F, F, E, F, G, D, 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 and just a bunch of C's to the end. We'll review that right now. I'm going to play 62 to the end at 100 beats per minute. So let me get that up. There we go. 62. Two. Ready. C, 
71. Here's 72. Rest to C. My students to do is breathe right before 88. We have that big crescendo leading up to a breath. No, you don't want to breathe right there before 88 because you want to connect that phrase. So try not to take a breath there. I will try my best when I run through this at 130. So I'm going to do three sections. I'm going to do the beginning to 30 and then I'm going to do the bottom of page two to the top of page, bottom of page one to the top of page two for the slow section and then I'll do 62 to the end. Okay. And that will conclude this video. So let's start. 130 beats per minute. Here we go from the beginning. Wish me luck because uh, this part's lots of stuff going on. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. One, two, beginning to ready. that off. Okay. Let's go over to 80 beats per minute. Now 41 through 57. Here we go. One. Oh. Hold on. Somehow I hit a bunch of other settings on here, so. Hopefully that doesn't change it. All right, hold on. Forty one, two, ready. Forty five, forty six, forty seven, here's forty eight. One breathe. Where the tempo speeds up. All right, here we go. 62 to the end. 130 beats per minute. 62. Ready.
Couple things when you're hearing my playing. Sometimes it sounds like I'm popping up to a note. Sometimes these lower keys on my clarinet stick. Out of all the school clarinets, I try to pick the, the weakest one so I can give all my students the best equipment possible. So this clarinet does need a good cleaning. So thank you for noticing that. I hope you enjoyed playing Byzantine dances today. I really, really enjoy this piece. I'm looking forward to doing this at multiple concerts this year and hearing my band perform it. Hopefully, if you're working towards a performance of this piece, your performance goes well. Thank you for watching and happy practicing.